hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so very much for clicking on my video i really really appreciate you so today's video is about a bag review as you know we do a lot of your review on this channel um this year we're trying to just buy review and send back as i told you in my previous video i can't keep everything because i work hard for my money and i don't just have money just kept somewhere <laughs> no so today is about this must you know couture collaboration i think um and this is the motorbike bag i did got, uh, get this from tj mass online before i go ahead and talk about the price I just want to put it out here, out there. Be if you have this bag, please don't get offended. Everyone have different taste to each its own. Please do not be offended again. This is solely for review and I really want to give a genuine review of this bag. When you look at it, it's a very edgy, nice looking back that is one thing that attracted me this is like the second time or three third time i've seen tj Maxx carry this is that bag um it doesn't come often last the first time i saw it was like about four years ago and then yeah my second time and then this one that i decided to grab so i could just review because i was googling to see i was i did watch a couple youtube videos to see things um about this bag before i went ahead and made that purchase uh people the two or three videos that i saw on youtube talked about how nice the bag is and how supple and soft the leather is which i totally agree with how edgy it looks if you're into that edgy kind of look this is definitely your look and which i love <laughs> so that is what you know one of the one of the the only few things i like about this bag is the look of this bag but practical wise and realistically the leather on this bag is super soft i want to say soft to the pad that it feels cheapened but i feel like this is to open it you open it this way it's a magnetic closure sometimes i think this is gonna pull out if you do it too fast or more like the more you do it the more softer you get and eventually pull off or pull out whatever way but let me show you how exactly the bag look this is it you can hand hold it or put it wet on the crook of your hand it doesn't have any feet a very soft and supple bag very nice says machino um what i want to pay would i say this is what the price no this retail for sixteen hundred dollars tj mass had it for 8.99 so i grab it for the sole purpose of reviewing it another thing i need you to put into consideration is because of how soft the bag is it will crease easily and quickly because if you constantly do this you know this is gonna cause a lot of creasing um you can also carry this bag crossbody it comes with um a dust bag the leather on the thing is still on obvious because i'm not taking it out and one thing i need you to know when you buy from tj mass the bag come with this yellow tag please if you're uh, not yellow sorry purple tag please if you're not keeping it do not i repeat do not remove that purple tag because when that it all, that is off you have to keep the bag it means that you're keeping the bag this bag how as much as how edgy it is this is why I think it's cheaply made. I was trying to get this thin off. So I only pulled because you can like this, you can pull this off. I'm even scared to do it. 
it could, I only did that and I realized it's just popped off like that's how cheaply made and it just looked like it was just easily glued to the thing let me see I think I did put the thing right here pardon me yeah so this is how it looks this thing feels so cheap it feels so plasticky and it just looks like it just broke off Okay, so I'm gonna put it back here so that I could show them when I get back. Uh, this, this is walkable. There's a pocket here. Uh, it's just like a, it's just like a, 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 ja um, a jacket, a bike jacket, a uh, motorbike, motor jacket, motorbike jacket. How do you call it? But in a back form, you can zip this all the way. There's a bag, there's a little pocket in front of here. There's pockets on the sides. There's pocket to the back. It actually went all the way. You can see my finger through here. Um, it is inside is plot lined. It, um, it's plot line. It's black. Let me take this off. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. Okay, it's plot lined. So, and it's black, and it just says Moschino Couture. It's a very nice bag. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, if you what, if you had gone for like hundred and fifty dollars, maybe I would keep it. Because my Chloe bag is, even though I bought it uh, on a clearance, I will not take the leather. How thicker the leather is than this. This is really soft. The bag is relatively light. The only thing that makes it heavy is all the whole thing going on in front, the zipper and everything. There is a reason why it is light. Uh, it is heavy in terms of what fit in it I have my Ralph Lauren wallet it easily fits in my phone you know and I still have like one like it will fit to your essentials and more if you have like a flat glass it will fit you still have like room to go okay um let me try my LV purse will not fit doesn't fit okay so as i say you can carry this as a handbag a handhold or a handheld sorry or a crossbody it's very very nice and edgy and i love edgy look this for sure if it was as i repeat i would not pay 900 dollars for this if it was or even pay that the retail price is 1600 to eat it, it, its own if this is what you like you just want to splurge and you can go ahead and do that but as is as i always say your girl have to work really really hard for her money so uh there are things i can keep and there are things i cannot keep and this is one of those things you know because i want to say it's cheaply made but it feels like the leather, um, the even the stitching will, will pop off. Like, for instance, let me see. Look at that. Did you see? Like, ah, come on, focus. Let me see. I feel like a lot, and a lot in this, the stitches will just, you know, come off. Look at that. It just, I don't know. For that amount of money, I was expecting more. More, I'm a, I'm more um, professional stitch or look or more even I don't know how to put it that's just me I guess because I guess <laughs> so that is all I have for you and as I say if you have this machine or doesn't does, doesn't mean that you should go ahead and sell it or whatever it's just a review okay it's just one of for people who wants to buy in futures what they should look for 
before they get into it is a very nice looking bag very edgy it's just that the construction um uh, what the material they use doesn't look quality the gold look too yellowish it just looks like one of those bags that i will probably buy for 16 dollars or 14 dollars from ross instead of 900 dollars okay so yeah do not forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye now